Thomas, welcome to Brunton Park. It, it's been on, on the boil for a while, but is it good to get it done now? Thank you very much. First of all, and I wouldn't say it, it would have taken a while. I think it was a very direct, honest uh, negotiation with the club. So, and honestly, uh, we did it in one Sunday. I called, I had a call with uh, Greg straight after with the manager, and after after him uh, with Jess, goalkeeper coach. And honestly, I was I was really impressed what they said. It was very promising, and honestly, it was it was up to my agent and the club to make it happen. Basically, were there any second thoughts? The fact that you're coming down into the into League Two, or does that does that not matter? Uh, you know what? Because as I said, because after after what I what I was told from from all people involved, uh, plus the last season, which was kind of miserable for me personally. Uh, there, there, there weren't any second thoughts. I just, I just want to play again. As I, as I said to to manager, I think even in my age, I still have a lot of love, lots of passion, lots of enthusiasm in my in me, and I just need someone to give it to. And honestly, the Gaffer said, it, it, he wants to be him. So let's crack on. Let's do it. Paul said the other day when he was talking about you that when he said where he wants Carlisle to go, you were on board with that immediately. So you've clearly heard some good things. Oh yeah, yeah. And and also, you know, uh I'm I'm not I'm not here or I don't go anywhere to just stack somewhere. I just want to fight for a result, fight for yeah, you know, in this position fight for promotion. That's that's my target. So as simple as that to be fair. And it's a chance to play football, that's key to you, isn't it? That's something you want to be doing. Yeah, that's something what I want to be uh where I want to be because, you know, yeah, money money is nice nice thing as well. But when I started to play football when I was a little kid, I didn't care about money. I just played because I love it, and I still do. Of course, now money is important as well because you, know, you need to eat, sleep somewhere, of course. But still, I want to I want to enjoy enjoy the passion, enjoy the atmosphere on the on the pitch, not on the bench or even on the stand or something like that. Two-year deal as well, Thomas. That's something you can really get your teeth into. Oh, that makes me now. Now it makes me calm. You know, I can slow down. I can stop thinking. Oh, where I will be? Is it going to happen? Is it? Is it going to be good? Now I know, I'm safe. I'm good. Very good place. So now I can make a step, another step forward, and uh, make another uh, other things happen, like a uh, moving stuff, and just get ready for for season. And you're going to move up here, you're going to live here, you're going to become a, a Cumbrian person, as it were. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it because, I don't know, it's like, it's it's close, it's very close to Scotland. And if I'm very really honest, a uh, Scottish accent <laughs> sometimes gets me because uh, actually my first coach in Ipswich was Paul Lambert, pure Scottish guy. So I was struggling, <laughs> struggling. So if... That accent is around this place as well. It will be fun, I guess. <laughs> I mean, Gillingham, Ipswich, the clubs you've been at, it's the south of the country. This is way up north. Did that come into you thinking about, oh, am I doing the right thing? Is this the right thing to do? Oh, uh, And also Cambridge as well. Yeah. So I just stuck in the sound there. But honestly, it's not like any problem bothers me, to be fair. It's just... If it's that north, south, east, west, it's just for me. This is place where I want to be, where I want to play football, and where it is. It's yeah. One thing I said, yeah, I'm glad Exeter got promoted. <laughs> that's that's what I said, because it will be a hell of a journey, wouldn't it? <laughs> I mean, that's part and parcel of football, isn't yeah. it? You, you you've got to travel around to play the game. You you can tell you're excited about this challenge. I am. I am. I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to work with uh, Jess. Really, work, really looking forward to work with the manager as well. Can uh, can wait to see the boys as well. And uh, from what I heard, it's, I believe it's going to be a good season. I, I'm really looking forward to it. I, I want to be part of it. Part of a good season. I don't know if you've looked back, Thomas, but we we had to fight to stay in the division last season. So we've come through that. Does it feel like that? Does it feel like the club a club that's ready to kick on now? Oh yeah, that 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 feels like that. That 
they, def they definitely don't want to fight for stay in division again. I think uh, I, I know they want to fight for promotion. That's that's why I'm here. That's why that's that's uh, why I want to be part of this of this club. But you know, we never know. Nobody knows. But me personally, I can speak for myself. I'll do my best off the pitch, on the pitch. So hopefully there will be a whole bunch of players. They will they will be on the same note with me. You're pretty well known, Thomas, but for the Carlisle fans who don't know what type of goalkeeper you are, what are your strengths? What do you bring to the pitch? Do I? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah I, I believe it's uh, my strength as well. I try to dominate uh, the box as well, but I have to say it's not always the easiest thing because when like uh, opponents teams focus on like a uh, set pieces or something like that, yeah, they know a massive goalkeeper. We need to stop him, come out or something like that. So and people don't realize when I have three, four, five bodies around, it's not always easy. But I always try to fight with them or something like that. Uh, hopefully, a one v one situation because of my size as well. Uh, kicks could be could be useful as well, uh, and and other stuff. I'm uh, maybe not as good as these the, these parts. I always always work on it like a uh, footwork and distribution and stuff like that. I love to work on it and improve. And we've got two young boys who've just come through from the academy who are both goalkeepers going into the first year as professionals. Yeah. What type of player will you be with them? Will you look to, to help them as much as you can? Uh, no, I don't, I don't care about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course, of course. I, as I said, as, as long as, that, as they are uh, willing to listen, would I, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be any smart pants or something like that. Like hey, you should do this, you should do this. No, no, I'm not this type. I always speak from my experience, what I, what I've done before, what what I can see if, if they are doing something a little bit wrong. I try to help them. As I, uh, I said, I said to Greg, I will be their big brother, and I will I will try to help them as much as I can. If they and if they want to listen to me, what I say, it will be. If if not, it's not my problem, is it? But I think. When I, when I met uh, Gabe, I think he's, from f first impression, he's a great guy. So I think it will be it will be great, like a friendship between us. And yeah, I will look after them. Looking back to when you were a boy and you start playing, I think it was your hometown club, then Sparta. Did you ever imagine you'd end up over in England when when, it, when you were first setting up? Uh, actually, it was it was my whole life dream to, to go to England, but probably I never thought it would it would happen. Actually. When I was when I was fifteen, uh, I was I was at a trial in Arsenal Academy, so I said mm, it might be something there, yeah. But uh, at the time we decided that I'm way too young to make this change happen. And then when the years goes, to, uh, it was even more and more difficult. Yeah, but at one point I just stuck in Czech League. When I was 25, David, actually Bill's colleague, just gave me a call, and they both just made it happen to to Gillingham, and I was oh my god, I was just flying in the sky. To be fair, I was buzzing. A really good time in your career as well. You were playing really well at that point when you when you had your first couple of seasons with Gillingham. Yeah, as I said, I tried my best, <laughs> and yeah, I, I always try, always try my best. Sometimes it works. Maybe time in Ipswich wasn't maybe maybe wrong time wrong play. I I don't know. But now now it's a new chapter, new, just a fresh start, and I will try to get back on my best as I was in Gillingham. Do you ever get bored answering questions about how tall you are? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> People ask me all the time, but don't worry, just keep asking me. Um, I saw a wonderful interview where you were talking about when you, I think you were 14 and you were banging your head on the door, even at that young age, you were always going to be a goalkeeper. I still do. I still do. <laughs> now Now the hotel, I, I'm staying in the low ceiling, so I'm bending over to do, because of this interview, I just didn't want any bump on my head, so just to be careful. And actually, I wasn't always goalkeeper. I became goalkeeper... You were speaking about 14, 13, yeah, maybe that time. 
but before I was just an outfield player. Actually, it was like a, I was like an outfield player, became a goalkeeper. Then I just got bored. I want to be outfield player again. But then, when everybody everybody was running, I just was miles smiles behind. I said, "Okay, I'm sick of it. I just don't want to run." So I just went back to be a goalkeeper and stuck with it. I could talk to you all day, but I know you've got <laughs> other things to do. So one yeah, on, yeah. one one daft, silly last question: What do you want from the last from the next two years? Oh, I, you know what? I just, I just want to want to be happy, being being out there playing football. Just want to enjoy, it. because as much as I don't want to, my career won't be last that long already. Because I'm not 20 again uh, anymore, and next year is, I think, is a huge opportunity for me to enjoy football as well uh, again. And I think as long as I'm enjoying football. We will get results. Thomas, thank you.